Good day to you all. Today we are entering into the month of May, so four months of the European year for development have already passed, are already behind us. If I look back on the month of April, there are two images that are very clear that emerged uh, in our minds and also on our TV screens and in the newspapers and those are kind of horrific images of people drowning in the Mediterranean on their way to Europe and the terrible earthquake that happened in Nepal at the end of the month. But there is also good news to tell about the month of April. Good news that didn't make the headlines. I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you a story about Ruji or Rujiata as she's called in, in full name. Rujiata is a lovely 12-year-old girl who lives in the outskirts of uh, Freetown, the capital of Sierra Leone, with her father and her mother. Rujiata has not been to school for almost a year because Ebola governed or reigned in her country and uh, killed a lot of people, it made a lot of people uh, lose their livelihoods, it made a lot of people lose their lives. Rujiata, therefore, uh, was not able to go to school. Her father lost his job as a driver of a water taxi that ferries people from the airport to the city. Her mother, who used to sell uh, fruits and vegetables on the market, was unable to do so because the markets were closed. So the whole family was disrupted by this terrible Ebola crisis. Rujiata has basically lost a year of her very valuable education. Try and imagine that your 12-year-old son or daughter misses a year of school. At that age, it's, it's fundamental. It was not all lost because civil society organizations that were fighting the Ebola crisis in the country together with the local authorities and with the national government decided to set up some alternative system. The alternative system was schooling by, uh, by radio. Rujiata and her parents had a small transistor radio, you see it on the picture, and every night her mother took out the batteries, because batteries are very hard to come by, uh, so that Rujiata every day could listen for one and a half hour in the morning and for one and a half hour in the afternoon to her school. Sometimes the connection was very bad and she got very, very excited because she was afraid that she would miss some of her lesson. But at least it was a way of her to try and keep up. The good news is that in April, on the 20th of April, all the schools in Sierra Leone were finally opening again so that Rujata and 700,000 other children like her in Sierra Leone could finally go back to school. Will they find the same schools? No. Some of their teachers will not be there anymore because they have become victims of the Ebola crisis. Some of their schoolmates may not be there anymore because they have become victims or they had to work uh, because their parents could no longer afford to keep them in school since they would have lost their own livelihood. There will be a lot of psychological uh, counseling still needed for the children in Sierra Leone. But the good news is they are back in school and life is returning to normal again.